Hi guys, Mike here. In this video we are going to have a look at how to create f-strings with the text macro, and what this text macro is, and why you should or rather must use it. So let's get started. So, now back in our C++ editor, let's have a look at how we can create f-strings. We can either declare them as member variables in our header file, or in, like in our case now, we are creating local variables. I'm using the text widget.h and .cpp file from a previous video, and we will use this in future videos when we are doing manipulations with f-strings and stuff and display them in our UI. So I'm just using this now for purposes of showing how to create f-strings. So let's declare one, let's say f-string, and we call it test string and then I'm going to show you how you do it or you have to do it or should do it using the text macro and let's call this test string. This is how you create a string. Like I mentioned in the previous video that f-strings are based on their character array so they are basically an array of t-chars. Before we go into deeper of the text macro and, and all that stuff. Let's have a look at our string and our f string defined here defines its own data type. Type tef, devs are now not in the scope of this video. I might create a video on its own based on that, but it defines its data type as t array of t chars. And t chars are single character basically. And if you're creating a string, you're creating a an array of t chars. Basically, what you can do let's, is also define it as let's say a const t char character array and define it as text test string. And of course, it's an array. So this is basically how you can also define a string as an array of t chars. This is basically how it works. So now to the text macro. What is it? Why do we need to use it? It's about encoding. Unreal Engine is platform independent, so there are a lot of platforms like mobile devices, consoles, PC, Mac, Linux, and each of these platforms has their own encoding style or encoding settings of strings. And to make this platform independent, you really need to make sure that text is used because this transforms your string into a platform native encoding. And if you would use it like this, so if we would say f string, let's say don't use equals test string, this would be the set would be working, but then you are creating a string which uses the ANSI. ANSI encoding, which is highly limited in what character it supports. And then once you do this, the ANSI string needs to be converted into a teacher array. So like, don't, don't use this. Always make sure to use the text macro, which is more efficient. It is platform safe. So just create a string based on this. What you can also do is let's say call it test string two and use the constructor and use text and test string. But then again, it's the same like this because the equals sign is, or the equals operator is overridden so that it creates that string. So you could either do it like this or this, but the first thing is what is recommended to use. So one more thing as something for you to notice is because it's an array like inside of the, of the string, what you can do is use the bracket operator like you would use for arrays. You can access single characters in that string with the bracket operator. That's overwritten for the F string and you could use this. So basically what this would look like inside if we are, let's say, highlighting this. Let's make the string a little bit shorter that I don't have to type that much. Let's call it Unreal. So basically the 
the array would look something like like this um, and there is another one which is a zero character that is part of every string array so the size would be like seven and you would access it basically starting from zero so you could access let's say one and then you would get the n character but this as a side note so just to see how the internal structures of f-string works and in the next videos we will cover in detail every kind of functions like for manipulation for comparison trimming and so on so look forward to that so i think that's it for this video if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I tried to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things were unclear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.